Glory to Jesus Christ. Always. Amen. All yeah, right. God bless you. Thank you. We're praying for you and Thank keep you. going. And um, yeah, fly the flag of Australia. <laughs> and, Should get uh, that up here too. You got the map. That was great. I saw you. You, you did that personally, right? You actually. I just did that up to ups, ups, upset the Tasmanians. Notice? Oh yeah, you've knocked them off. That's not good. So they used to be there, but I lost it. Ouch. <laughs> you know that is the ends of the earth, right? That's, yeah. It's you, know what, in the you know what I found crazy, right? Is if Australians made the map of the world. Yeah. Be like this. Right, like that. Isn't that nuts? This crazy. Like the only reason, right? Because we obviously don't know what north and south is. What yeah. is north and south in relation to? It's in, in relation to the map makers, right? Yes. So if Australians had written the map and drew it up, it would be upside down, and the North Pole would be the South Pole, etc. Doesn't that blow your mind? I don't know uh, about all that. Yeah, there's the radius, the border of the world. There's a. Um, Pulse. Not. There's a pulse that compass. It's not necessarily called negative, positive, but there's a pulse. But that doesn't show what's actually north. What do we mean by north? Like whenever you say something is north, that's in relation to something else, right? Mm -hmm. well, it's north I, and south pole, but it would just probably sun. be flipped. So that's what I just so said. You're assuming that they're on top. Yeah. yeah, it'd be flipped. I've not thought of it like that. But the Europeans drew the maps. I'm gonna go ahead and disagree with you, man. Yeah. Uh, don't well, we have satellite images? Don't we have satellite images? Won't that right sort of now. predict that? Surely that will settle Yeah, but that. like how are they focusing on the Earth? Like all you would have to do with that satellite is turn it around so it would be accurate and Australia would look like that. Does it make <laughs> sense? Am I talking no, crap? You, if you think about like the, yeah. if you started a map in Europe, everything below it would be lower and everything like left yeah. and right would be in the same and that's why right. we think of that as up and on top of the globe. Yes. I have, to, cool? I have to process that, yeah. So wow. really, we're at the top, but then America's down the bottom. Imagery. <laughs> when you get to the point where you exit the atmosphere and yeah. you take a picture of the world. Well, then your, your satellite yeah. is, you're taking a photograph of it the way you've interpreted it. You would just send it up. Yeah, wouldn't it be a... What does that that's mean? That's what I agree with. You'd right? have to send it in a space they upside don't. down to get that image. They don't... But what do you mean by upside down? Like upside down only in reference to the way we've understood how the world looks, right? See what I mean? So, look. This is good. This is where Pints really starts. Yeah. We haven't oh, even yeah. begun yet. This is where it begins. Right. <laughs> like if I say, if I say like, you know, that those lights are high, I'm, maybe I'm saying that in reference to how we're sitting and the fact that I consider that to be the ceiling because I've decided it is, or that's the function it plays, right? I feel like this is the same argument as saying if a colorblind person created the palette, green would be blue. I'm putting on screen an upside down globe. Oh yeah? What did you look up to find that? I searched it and rotated it. It's sort of like when people say that the Earth... But you rotated it. That's because it's, they're operating within the reference of this so is then the way that looks by right rotating it, doesn't that make Australia up top to that? That way, but he had to rotate it. Like, yeah. if, you leave, if you leave the room and yeah. then turn around and look at it, it's still the same That's orientation right. as it yeah. was. Isn't it like this monk, and then it's, there's down under, yeah. and, then, and then what you're saying is you flip it upside down then it will be upside down there's no right way up they, they this, put it that way because it looks right because that's what the maps are made to look like and what we're conditioned to expect looking at the globe but they have to like you well, know, presumably uh, the satellite's <laughs> rotating to some amount so they're going to have to position it some kind of way when they take a picture not the, this let, is a grand conspiracy. let me say this to come at a, a ah. different angle right so when people say like we now know we're no longer the center of the universe like, you don't know that because you don't know where the edges are. If I'm in a room and I cannot yeah. see any of the walls, I cannot say whether I'm in the center of that room, right? Because I have yeah. no reference point. You make that make sense? Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. So what I'm saying is, uh, we don't, what's the reference point? Like, what's, what's north and south? What is that in relation to? We don't know where we are. Like maybe we're sideways. Maybe Australia should be on the side. Oh, okay, as far as the so galaxies. So when you say something's cons north, you're only saying that in reference to where you are. Well, then you should leave that as it is now on your bookshelf. Done. Yes. Yeah. Let's keep having this conversation because I feel right, like maybe I'm speaking crap or maybe I'm saying something really brilliant and I can't tell yet. So I'm going to have a bit more vodka <laughs> while Neil tells me what's happening. <laughs> no, you're, I think you're right. I'm thinking about just when... 
you have to think about how the map was developed. You'd have Europe, and then you want some of this? To make more space why not? Yeah, it. thank you. You got the coffee finished? And I finished. The, the only reason why this like has any Beautiful. kind of second meaning to it is there's when you're looking at a globe, the northern ones are kind of on top, so resting on the bottom. So it's as if like the northern what? These, so like North America mm -hmm. is on top of the world. Yeah. Whereas if you flip it upside down, then we're on the bottom of the world. You don't yeah. want to be on the bottom. So that's why it has these kind of like, you know. You're only saying that because it pays you, Neil. But but it, but, no, but it could also <laughs> no, but it, it's also because like Europe was unaware of Australia and South America mm. when maps were being drawn, right? No. Oh, the first maps. Who drew the first maps? I don't know. Okay, some, so now some, you're just saying some, some dude in Europe probably. <laughs> Europe Asia. Probably wasn't like an African Sheila. It's probably like a male <laughs> European. From looking at the coastlands, right? From a ship looking yeah. at the coastlands by hand. But then what defines the... Well, then you have to think... I agree with what you're saying, but then what defines the pulse around the wor world? Like we have a compass that points to something. Mm. To but we've it. called that north. It's not like yeah, a compass yeah. came out of nowhere. And, yeah. So the compass points north, but that's only because we've said what north is. It's we could have said that south. Pool. Well, this is all... That's Predicated on a spherical Earth. <laughs> what did you say? He said the Earth is flat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's another <laughs> debate. Well, might as well just derail it all the way. Yeah. Have you heard Jimmy of that? World. Yeah, we should actually yeah, Jimmy ask Aikens Jimmy. Good on that. Jimmy yeah. would know. Yeah, he'll know. Let me just text him. See if we can get him a speakerphone. Um, but while I do that, uh, what was I was going to ask you. Uh, oh yeah, have you seen that website? Birds aren't real. I was just going to talk. Oh, about Look it that. up. No. It's the greatest website. And they just changed all the batteries. Can you look it up, Neil, and then like read about it while I text uh, Jimmy? Let me turn this towards you. Birds are not real. I see birds all the time. What's the magpie? Cockatoo? Koala? I'm not koala. I say, I've seen a lot of dead birds recently. Me too. What's the deal with that? Uh, the Birds Aren't Real movement has been active since 1976. Once a preventative cause, our initial goal was to stop the genocide of real birds. Unfortunately, this was unsuccessful, and the government has since replaced every living bird with robotic replicas. Now our movement's prerogative is to make everyone aware of this fact. Um, and then I think that they talk about birds uh, recharge on phone lines. That's why you see them sitting on, on or not phone lines, power lines. That's why you see them sitting on phone lines. All right, I'm going to call Jimmy Aiken right now, everybody. Okay. Are people <laughs> still watching the show? Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Absolutely. We've got more now than we did ever. <laughs> All right, Jimmy. This is Jimmy. Jimmy Aiken. Does he know you? He knows of me. Uh, I've met him twice. Hello. Hey, Jimmy. You are on Pints with Aquinas with Charbel Raish. How Howdy. you doing? Nice to make your acquaintance. Yeah, good to see you. I was just at Catholic Answers yesterday. Oh, cool. Yes, it was, it was great to see everyone. So, Jimmy, we, uh, my, my son, who is an avid listener of your excellent podcast, said you'll know the answer to this. So I've got a question for you. Um, okay. If Australians drew the maps... Okay, the question is, how do we know what's north and what's south? Because we have no reference point to what's actually north and what's actually south. So is north and south arbitrary names that we give to different directions? Or is north actually north for a reason that I don't yet know? Well, um, so north and south are semi-arbitrary names for directions. Um, we have the Earth as a sphere. It turns on a, on a rotational axis. And we arbitrarily call one end of that rotational axis north and the other end of the rotational axis south. Um, east and West also are arbitrary names, but at least in their case, they refer, they can be given a meaning with reference to the direction in which the Earth turns, um, because the Earth turns in such a way that the sun rises in, the, in what we call the East and sets in what we call the West. So um, the names of all these directions are arbitrary, but... Um, but they are tied to geophysical facts about the Earth. North and South, however, are more arbitrary than East and West because you can always define East and West in terms of is the sun coming up in this direction or is it setting in this direction? Whereas with North and South, um, you could flip, there's, there's no real difference between North and South, um, geophysically speaking, and so you could 
if you wanted, call the South Pole the North Pole and vice versa. And, uh, and so that's the basic answer. Okay, yeah, that's fascinating. So am I right in thinking that the, if you look at a map, the reason it looks that way is because Europeans view it that way, whereas if, you know, Australians have had have, had have written the map, we might be looking at Australia upside down on a map today? Correct, yes. You could take a map of the Earth and turn it upside down, and it would reflect the perspective of what would have happened if, say, uh, the Australian Aborigines had been the first to colonize the world, and they wrote all the maps from their perspective. That's fascinating. In Incidentally, the uh, the same ambiguity about North and South applies not just to the Earth, but to the galaxy. Uh, the galaxy has a galactic North and a galactic South, mm -hmm. which are oriented with the Earth's North and South. But if you flipped the uh, perspective of Earth, you would flip galactic North and galactic South as well. Yeah, gosh, that's that's fabulous. Thank you so much for giving us that brilliant answer off the cuff. Yeah, no problem. Just happy I could be of service. Yeah, what's the next uh, Jimmy Akin's Mysterious World episode going to be about? Uh, we just had an episode come out on Friday about the biblical mystery of the Urim and Thummim, or as they say in America, the Urim and Thummim, <laughs> which, were, which were two objects that the, priest, the Jewish high priest could use to get answers to, from God on different questions. And then uh, this coming Friday... We're going to be doing an expose on a psychic medium named Robert Rickey, who claims, among other things, to have interviewed Ted Bundy and to have participated in two exorcisms authorized mm -hmm. by the Archdiocese of Chicago. And so we're going to be using different investigative techniques to look at this gentleman's claims and show what a total liar he is. Ooh. Well, thank you so much, Jimmy. People, go check out uh, Jimmy Aiken's Mysterious World. Thanks a lot, Jimmy. You're the best. Thank you. All right, bye. Awesome. I think you have better arguments. <laughs> I back, was right. But I'm gonna. I'm I still not gonna change right. my mind. How does he spit Isn't out an answer like that? Isn't that incredible? He's a freak. Amazing. Trent Horn said that. Uh, Trent Horn said that uh, Jimmy Aiken may be a cyborg sent from the future <laughs> by God to save the church, and I think he might be right. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. That is going to be like that forever now. Thank you. I think that's, we're going to leave it like that. And I'll try to find Tasmania and hang it up there. You know how many times you're going to have to explain that? Though? No, I'm never going to explain it. Just like that photo I take photos of with my guests, so I never so explain. Yeah, well, I guess I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I won't, but it's possible. Um, isn't that great vodka? That's brilliant. Yeah. Isn't that the best Where'd vodka you get you've from? ever had? Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.